Okay, so I just came out of um, Aldi's uh, grocery store. My favorite grocery store ever. And um, it was busy. It was busy. It's right before Thanksgiving and there was a lot of people in there getting a lot of stuff. And I impulsively decided today I'm going to go to their store because I just felt like I needed to. So... Um, I did pick up some things. I can have an impromptu Thanksgiving if I choose to. And what I might just do is invite people who um, aren't having a Thanksgiving. Because there's a couple that I work with and things that aren't um, doing things. Their families are gone. Things like that. So uh, if the opportunity arises tomorrow, I'm going to invite some. If they don't, then I will not have it. A Thanksgiving and I'm okay with that I mean later um, I think we're trying to get one together um, everybody had to work like my kids had to work and stuff so um, we're not gonna do a big deal then and um, extended family is just just it's a little different this year and I'm gonna do it different and it's okay um, you don't have to do the expected you don't you don't have to invite everybody if people in your inner circle are toxic and harsh to you. Um, if it's not going to be a rewarding experience, why are you adding it to your life? Um, expectation is a lead in for disappointment. Um, when things are expected of us, or even when we feel that they're expected of us, you got to cut some ties. Sometimes you got to cut some traditions. Sometimes you got to cut the expected sometimes, because if it's not beneficial to you, um, my daughter and I had a conversation regarding Thanksgiving and she was like, I've seen what the holidays have done to you over the years. And she said, it's, it's ridiculous. It needs to stop. Um, and she was talking about the stresses of it and the trying to meet everybody's expectations, trying to keep everybody happy. Dad gummit, you're not going to, especially if you're in broken families, if you're in blended families, if you're in, um, split families that are remarried that have all this extra family and it, it's I always joke that it was a blessing I had extra sets of parents but it is but they all need to work together don't be butts you know um and then it makes it a little more festive if you're if you're not so it it all completely depends on what you choose to do um it truly does. Now, my ex-husband and I, I kid you not, could probably sit down and have a meal together and enjoy Thanksgiving together with our kids or whoever we wanted, um, or even our spouses if we had them, um, and it would be okay. So, we would be friendly, we would laugh, we would joke, we would have a good time. But not everybody can do that. Um, not everybody has healed, not everybody has moved on. Uh, not everybody has become better instead of bitter. So um, to that, I strongly say, let's all work on ourselves and not have to worry about that nonsense. So <clears throat> don't let the holidays get you down either. Um, if you truly have no one to be with and nowhere to go, then I would suggest doing something that day that you can only do by yourself. Um, and make you feel better. Or do something adventurous. Do something you've never done before. Branch out. Be brave. Be courageous. Um, but don't mope. There's good to be found. And we need to find it. Period. Find the good. Look for the good. Not for the bad. Um, so to that I say... Uh, if you don't mind, let me pray for you. God, I just ask that you would just be with whoever is watching this, that whatever stresses come, that God, you would, you would eliminate them, that you would relieve them, that whatever, um, depression comes, that it wouldn't come at all, that you would heal, that you would take care of, that you would provide for even in the expense of this and that you would comfort, guide, love, and care for anyone watching this in Jesus name, anyone struggling. Let it be a blessing, not a burden. In Jesus' name, amen. I want that for you.